Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it lemon yellow. You're probably wondering why. Actually no, I'm going to use this old can of epoxy rust mate to make this aluminum uh, grit grill a little stronger because by using epoxy it's going to actually strengthen it and this stuff does not require any primer. So I'm going to use some of this old uh, epoxy. I had I used to have this for ages. You can see it's rusted all the way through. But shake, 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 shake. I'm going to just paint a coat of yellow. Yellow, it's going to be very visible. Um, onto the grill. And then basically I'll, later I'll paint it black. But right now, just going to paint it yellow. Put a good coat of epoxy on it. And then make it look better. Well, actually, no, it's not going to look better. Just going to make it stronger and tougher. Anyways, let's do it. Okay, so yeah. uh, brush shake some more. Let's open this thing up. Let's hope this paint isn't bad. It's already been at least 10 years or more, maybe even 15 years. But, ooh, still yellow, still very yellow, which is nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some, use a stick, and this, make sure everything is mixed in very well. Apparently this stuff only takes about a few hours to harden, which is perfect. environment wasn't this dirty but get some paint we don't need that much and I'm just putting in a small can so I could just instead of having to open up the entire entire paint can and and ruin it should be enough cover this thing back find somewhere I can hang this real fast. Oh, oh. Maybe I shouldn't paint this for more faster. I shouldn't hang this.
Okay, YouTube, so basically what I did was that I painted this whole thing with epoxy. So this aluminum is now reinforced with epoxy and it is plastic layered. Basically, there's a layer of plastic on top of the epoxy, up on top of the aluminum, and it is a lot more rugged and it feels like there's, it adds a lot more weight to it. So what I'm gonna do now is paint it black. So I don't think you really need to just see me rattle canning a, you know, Basically what I did was just paint it. Paint it, let it dry. It's been about six hours. The epoxy's hardened and it's still very flexible. But basically at least this aluminum is reinforced of epoxy. Now I'm just using some enamel and this is just finishing it up. Okay, now that I just put probably a coat with the first coat over, it's all black now, which is great. This is really cool. Um, it's still probably flexible, but hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna put another coat on. Uh, just let it sit for tonight and just let it dry up. And then we'll put another coat of enamel on and then we'll just basically install it. Yay! Second coat. really thick now so it should be much stronger than it was before using epoxy and a coat of epoxy and two coats of spray can and man I'm ammo so it should be pretty cool let's see how well this works if it doesn't make a new one hey YouTube so this is how it looks it actually has a really nice texture to it on the epoxy and it's really strong but at the same time I really didn't care for it so basically I made a second one and installed it using zip ties. Um, overall, I love the project. I'll probably keep the epoxy one for if I'm gonna really take it out to the desert. And I'm gonna basically just use this one because it looks, it comp the silver complements my chrome and the silver car. So I'll just keep it that way. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and stuff. This is. This has been a fun experiment. Next time I might try some other material like these. See ya, bye bye.